What's going on guys? Happy Wednesday and welcome to today's tech video. It's Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us and we're going to be talking about the Verizon iPhone 4 here today. So unless you've been living under a hat for the past couple of days, weeks even, you've probably heard that yes, Verizon has finally, after over a three year wait, gotten the iPhone 4. I've got the one from AT&T here today. I've had two chances to use the one from Verizon, both uh, from a friend of mine actually at, at, uh, at school, in high school. He had it Monday or Tuesday morning and I messed with it for a little bit, ran some speed tests on it, uh, just on 3G sitting there in the class. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on with it and my thoughts on the Verizon iPhone 4. Now, two weeks ago, before it came out, I was really glad that the uh, that Verizon had the iPhone. It's going to be great competition for Verizon and AT&T. And uh, it's only going to make Apple more popular. It's going to take some traffic out of AT&T's network, which is going to make my iPhone faster, which is good. And uh, again, that whole competition factor, as tons of people have said, and they're all right, when, com when companies meet, consumers win. So now that it's out, people have had it, people have messed with it, I've messed with it. There's a couple problems, and I'm going to start out with the death grip. The AT&T iPhone, as we all know, everybody loved it when it came out, but everybody soon learned that if you hold it pretty much any way, for me, without the bumper on it, your service goes from five bars, I'm holding it like this, I'm down to two, I wouldn't even bother showing the camera because you, know, you won't even be able to focus. Now it's down to one, holding it like this. The problem is you bridge this gap between excuse me, this part of the uh, metal band and this part, and it loses your whole signal. So now it's back up to three, there's two, oh, there's one. It's destroyed, so you need one of these, a bumper. And the problem is this bumper does not fit the Verizon iPhone. I tried it. Uh, they've moved a couple of things on the Verizon iPhone. I might as well state that the Verizon iPhone's a little different. They got rid of these FCC logos and crap on the back. I guess Apple finally got that. It looks a little bit better. And they have moved a whole bunch of these black uh, antenna bands. They've also had to move the hold switch and the volume buttons, fraction of an inch, but it, it makes it just enough so the case doesn't fit, which is really annoying. You're gonna have to get a different bumper if they even make it. I do not know. So they kind of screwed that up. In addition to that, there are no physical changes. There are no hardware changes, aside from, of course, the um, GSM and CDMA, now it has, uh, actually I hear that it has both. So the iPhone 5 is going to be compatible with both. There's going to be one version, so that'll be kind of cool. So uh, back to the death grip. It was here on AT&T. Everybody thought that they would have fixed it for the Verizon iPhone, and everybody was wrong. Moving the antenna bands did nothing. I watched in John Four Lakers, um, John Rettinger here on YouTube yesterday. I watched his video or two days ago. Uh, he did the same test. He held the iPhone in his left hand like this for a few seconds and it went from four bars down to one bar. And that's really bad that you can't hold a phone without the service dropping. And that's a big failure on Apple's part twice now. So the bumper fixes it. It's only $29 and you can get it free. Um, I think they still offer that. Maybe not. At least with the AT&T one. So maybe they'll do the same thing with the Verizon. I don't know. Um, but you, you are going to need a bumper or some sort of a case. Even plastic tape over it uh, worked. So that's a problem. The other thing is, with Verizon's network in general, you cannot have voice and data going at the same time. For some people, who cares? For me, there are few phone calls when I'm only in a phone call. Most of them, I am multitasking. I've got my headphones in, the Bose uh, in-ears with the little microphone on it. I've got my headphones in, I'm doing email, I'm doing Twitter, I'm doing all kinds of stuff on AT&T's 3G network. Uh, we're gonna get into those speeds in a minute as well. And I could not live. <laughs> I don't want to live with an iPhone that cannot do voice and data. It only does one at a time. And I'm sure that they'll work this out in their LTE versions and 4G and all that great stuff coming in the future. But for now, you can either be in a call or use the data. Now, if you're using the data, the phone will still ring. So you're not gonna miss calls if you have your 3G on and you're, you're browsing the internet or whatever you're gonna be doing on your, on your 3G network. So that's a problem for me. It might not be for you. And the third thing I wanted to talk about was uh, speeds. In the school, I had five bars of 3G, and the Verizon guy next to me on his iPhone 4, and on the Verizon network, had four bars. So it was pretty fair. We used the same application, we cleared all the cache, not that that even matters for the speed tests um, that we did with the applications. It's just called speed test, I believe. I'll open it up, I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like this. That's the speed test application. Apologize for the bad image quality. 
um, get a big button there, begin test. And we both ran it on AT&T's 3G network. 3G network around Cleveland, Ohio is un believably fast. It is faster than my home internet connection because I have Time Warner. But I was getting about 8 megabytes of 3G down and about 6 up. Very fast on 3G. No Wi-Fi. The Verizon iPhone got about 1 down and 1 up. And this is consistent. I watched Mark Watson, Soldier Knows Best, and again, I think John ran these same tests. And AT&T's network is consistently faster. Now, I do think that Verizon has a broader coverage, better coverage, but if it's so slow, I would rather have a little bit less coverage because I've never really been out of service with AT&T, and I'd much rather have um, five times the speed, even two times the speed. So for me, it's not even a question. I think AT&T is a better network in terms of their speed. And over the past couple weeks now, we've seen AT&T change their texting plans. They're going to be starting tomorrow, February 10th, offering unlimited mobile to mobile on everything. We don't know which plans that's going to include, probably the higher end plans. So I might be safe, I might not be. Um, but AT&T and Verizon are head to head right now competing. I, uh, I'm i not leaving AT&T. I think they, as I said, they're the faster network and... Um, the case that fits the phone so I won't be leaving if you did buy an iPhone uh, on Verizon's network I apologize because you just bought a phone that's going to be out of date in the next several in the next few months actually by June so uh, you'll be kicking yourself then if you're not already learning out about the voice and data and the death grip problems and how slow Verizon's 3G network is but I'm happy with AT&T there's what we know about the Verizon iPhone 4 thus far and I'm really looking forward to see how AT&T and Verizon compete in the future uh, I do expect AT&T to offer another unlimited data plan. However, I think they are uh, changing their two gigabyte cap on the higher end plan to four gigabytes. So that will affect me. I don't know when that's happening. I did have to update my texts from 200 to 1000 and uh, that was needed. So uh, that's what we know about the Verizon iPhone this far. Leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Would you buy one? Did you buy one? What are your thoughts? Do you like Verizon or AT&T better? I've been really happy with AT&T so far. I've been with them since June. So we'll see how long it can hold out. Seems to be going great so far. Again, thanks for watching the video. Or go, go to our site here. It's techinform.us. We're going to be having some posts about everything we just talked about soon. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Our business account is twitter.com slash techinformus. And then Tuesday nights, you can catch me live between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's. Bye-bye. Bye! Bye! Bye!